Furthermore, his rabbi just the previous Friday night had given, it was Interfaith Friday night. Oh my God, wow. what a night that was. I tell you, the place was packed. And it was the rabbi, and it was the priest, and the minister, and the guru. Everybody was there. And the rabbi looked down upon Bridget and Bernie, and he beamed as he said, there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. We are all God's children. And Bernie being the fire and said, God's child, let's get married. They destroyed our children. And now they're angry and they're upset. Why do all these kids don't want to be Jewish? How come, how, how, how come they were Trotskyites? It's not true. The largest Jewish youth group in America is not the Trotskyites or Jews or Jews for Jesus or Jews for Arafat. It's Jews for nothing. It's Jews for nothing. We don't want to, we don't want to hear about being Jewish. That's the result of people that all the years told them, forget about it, you know, yeshiva, you have to believe in God, you have to do this. They went to their temple for what? The bar mitzvah, the bar mitzvah, the bar mitzvah. So for two and a half years, Bernie broke his, broke his teeth on words which he, which, which he neither knew nor cared to know. To, to know because he, he knew that in two and a half years, he'd be bar mitzvah and Bubby would give him a big check. <laughs> I mean, that's, those are our Jewish leaders. Those are our Jewish leaders. Don't follow them. Don't follow them. Follow your own good Jewish sense. Follow Jewish leaders who are Jewish, honestly Jewish, authentically Jewish.